Good morning, shipbreakers, and welcome to Got Space Game. I'm Dan, and this is your home for indie, sci fi, and simulation gaming here on YouTube. We're into our Let's Play series of Hard Space Shipbreaker. We're going through an entire career mode from start to finish, full spoilers and everything. Today, we have got a new training mission to do. So, we're gonna get right on with it. You can see in our last um, in our last installment we finished off this Exolab mackerel um, and now we've got our training mission to do and we're going to learn all about reactors. So let's have a look. I remember my first reactor pull. I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> you got less on the line now, but still. Let's try to do this without a critical meltdown. Looks like this ship's reactor's toward the aft, but there are lots of different configurations out in the wild. Okay, we're only focused on one thing right now. Pull the reactor and get it on the barge. As soon as you disconnect the reactor from this ship, it'll start to melt down. So act fast and make sure you have an exit strategy ahead of time. So, that exit strategy is super important, actually. Because there are a few things worse than having the reactor about to go critical. And you've got no way of getting rid of it. So what that usually means in one of these ships is to cut the floor off. Processing valuable objects. Credit Cool. Alright. This one's pretty easy. Should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. Try to have your extraction fully planned out before disconnecting it from the ship. And that is all very pertinent advice. So, what we're going to do... Now you notice here that your HUD is starting to go a little bit uh, squiffy as you get close to the reactor. That's normal and that is fine. What I'm going to do first is cut off the floor here. This particular section goes in the furnace, you can see. Being careful of all the fuel hazards around here as well. It's both the fuel tank there and these pipes. If they're lit up, there is fuel in them. And they can go boom if you cut through them. Let's go to the furnace. I'm not going to bother taking off that bit of catwalk there. That goes in the barge. And then we've actually got quite a simple job with the reactor. Let's take the fuel off first to get that out of the way. We don't want any unnecessary complications in pulling the Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. So, there's a couple of ways to go about this. Oh, you've got thrusters in there as well, that's good. That'll get us some money. You've got two ways to go about it. I'll show you the more manual way on this pull. So, we're going to pull it and you have to come backwards like that. You know, so there's a five stage countdown coming. Now it's down to four stages when that reaches zero. That's when it's gonna blow. Chill. Well, congrats, sir. You're certainly picking this stuff up faster than I did back in the day. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it till you get to the next range. Until then, remember this. Measure twice, cut once. And tethers are your friends. Good luck out there, Cutter. 
We were out. They are indeed. So the other method that you can do is just to simply attack a tether, tether it down to the bottom. Make sure you've got a clear run because it can pull out quite fast and you don't want it bashing into anything. But uh, that will take it out for you. Right, we've got thrusters here as well. Uh, let's light that up. So, you can see the thruster back there. Let's show what it looks like in the scanning view. It's just like a big rectangle thing. And to disconnect it, you need to pull the switch. That disconnects it from the other side. We can, uh, if we take this thing out, you'll see. You can pull the whole thing out from the inside. You can also pull it out from the back. Pull it out from the back by using the uh, taking off the thruster cap. Again, that's another one that you'll want to get for one of your early salvage goals because that's worth a heck of a lot. And we have got our bunny character toy. This will go and decorate our hat. have like a set route that I take through a ship. I'm cutting it. I tend to just sort of work along and if I get to a bit, just go and do that bit. And you want to be careful there, there's another fuel hazard, so I'm going to switch mode. Take the thing and do that. Cool. Start bashing things away. We can open the ship up. Whoops, see that's gone stuck behind there. I'm actually just gonna leave it there. Take that off as well, because we might forget those bits. Oh. See, it's tether, so I just press the Y button to cancel the tether. It's just all about clearing up all those big old chunks there of nanocarbon. Got those engine themselves. Good money in those. Yeah, probably don't strictly need to cut that off, but we can. I won't say that any one tool is always the most appropriate one, you see there that because there was quite a small gap for me to fire through I switched to the stinger just to do that bit
Those power cells are worth quite a lot. And of course, the internet. Now, did I see what was killing that? I'm not sure. I didn't really remember where it was, so I'm just gonna go head on back to the Master Jack for now. Because unless you're sure of where that oxygen is, you can waste time trying to find it. Oxygen level stabilizing. And tethers as well. Again, you're spending money perhaps unnecessarily there on those tethers, but uh, yeah, it's better than having to go back and grab them. Since we're down there, we'll get them. These yellow cut points here are what's holding the back half up. If we take that out. Then we can get in the other half here. Yeah. Take out those nano carbon panels. Did I get them all? Okay, there's something else attaching that. I'll quickly what it is. Give us any clues. Should come up. Okay, but you know what? We can actually cut a hole through this panel. I'm going to check with the scanner first just to make sure there's nothing. Okay, you see there's a fuel tank there. So we need to be a little bit careful. See also that these pipes are not currently active, the other way to tell. Let's put a hand on it, you can hear the fuel gushing through them. Still makes me nervous cutting through them. Not like. Just gonna take out some of these pipe junctions. Just to get the pipes out of the way. And then we're gonna try and make some nice clean cuts in that wall. Without going through the fuel tank. That should do it. Gives us a way in. Then we can sort out whatever's behind there that's causing us problems. Might actually be that fuel tank thing. Cut that off. A bit of ash, let's see. Oh, with a tether? Yeah. It's just not responding to the push anymore. That's Maybe five the... minutes left on the clock, Cutter. Five minutes remaining. I think maybe they've increased the weight as you, uh... As you rank up a bit? Not sure. about in 
loud than what quick claim. Account credited. Goalies and prices up. Again, not worrying about the glass on the cockpit. And we can actually come in from this end. All those are flying through. Fire or something, or an electrical hazard going on. Um, I think you can probably even set fire to them with the uh, split sword. Yeah, best avoided. Okay, what have we got? We've got patch kit, we've got thruster fuel. See, there wasn't actually oxygen, I remembered saying this. But good job, I didn't come around looking for oxygen because I would have been sorely disappointed. What have we got? About a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the whole ship done. Not much left of this ship, Cutter. About one minute remaining. Missed it. Haven't even got up to number four. So, we're gonna go straight back out and finish that shift. Now, this is what I'm saying. You know, we pay money to go out. Every shift, every shift, we pay some money to go out. And we're only gonna be getting this last couple of goals here. And so it probably actually is going to cost us money to go out and salvage that. But in the early game, it does not matter. New certification level attained. 
Why doesn't it matter? Doesn't matter because we're all about those links tokens and we're all about those ranks. Mastery points get us up through the ranks. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Let's have a quick listen to that and then we'll go. Oh, and there is our rabbit. Howdy, Rook. So, this can be uh, an awkward subject. But you've probably noticed Lynx doesn't take great care of us. Up until maybe a hundred years ago, workers like us would sometimes form these groups called unions and go toe to toe with the company. They'd argue for better wages, safer work, decent hours, that kind of thing. Lynx was actually part of getting rid of them. But some of us are trying to bring it back. I can tell you're a good person and a hard worker. The company will use you up. It's just built that way. So I thought you might be interested in the union news group. There are new messages every couple of days. Read them, don't read them, trash them, whatever. Just keep it on the down low. The others don't know about it. Weaver and Dee are a bit too by the book. Kaido is just too anxious. Poor kid. But I wanted you to have the info. I was glad someone gave it to me when I was new. Okay. Spiel over. <laughs> See you in the yard, Rook. Flew out. Good morning, shipbreaker. See, there you go. As I was saying earlier, you will spend about half a million credits just uh, just going out on shift. Um, we've cleared six million credits uh, in that shift, so we've easily. Uh, done that in the last shift and, and we're clearing down our big old debt here but the next shift we're probably not going to make a profit hey cutter you're going to start getting pressurized shifts now lou and i will show you the ropes when you're ready and we will look at that pressurized ship training in the next installment So let's just go clear up the last bits of this ship. There's not much to it, shouldn't take us a few minutes. Like I say, we're doing this for the tokens, we're not doing this for the money. Object deposit So just send some aluminium into the process of that rather than the furnace. That will go to the furnace. Let's just grab these bits. Entire section. Deposit registered. Account credited. You can pull more or less anything on the others. If you use enough of them. Now, as that burns, we just see if the red bar on the right hand side hits that number five before the yellow bar on the left hand side. Yellow and green. The yellow or green answers in the comments below. Time. 
now we can do a mythic something again. Let's figure out what and where it is. Ah, it's that. Now for these, you want to bring, when you've got something right at the back of the salvage yard there, you kind of want to bring it forward before you try and get it into the processor. Easily tether it to the master jack, quickly cancel them, it'll keep floating on there. Then you can tether it into the processor. Reason being, you don't want to accidentally yoink it on a diagonal too close to the furnace and it gets sucked in. I've done it many a time and it's annoying. And that's everything that should take me over. Credits awarded. And we are done. Back in the hub. So there we go, we've gotten above level 5. We've actually earned a million credits, so, so we're, we're what, just under half a million in profit, which is not bad actually, I wasn't fully expecting that. More importantly though, we've got those links tokens and those mastery points. We're not too worried at the moment, at this early stage in the game, we're not too too worried about clearing the debt, that can even go up, um, but we want to get all of our equipment upgraded and then we can work on that debt and it'll go a lot quicker then. Cutter 9346-52 your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. There you go. That's all of our costs for the chefs. So, spent half a million. Got a million and a bit. Not bad. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for when the next instalment comes out. Um, like I say, we're doing this as a Let's Play series. I'm going through, you know, the entire career mode, start to finish. You'll see every kind of ship. You'll see every kind of situation I can get myself into. You'll probably see some messy explosions and failures and, and all kinds of salvage bay accidents. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been Dan. This has been Got Space Game. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe.